happening YouTube, this is Lumara here, bringing you another VGC 15 live daily upload. Uh, so I do apologize for the uh, past few days, I have been uh, sick for the past few days, uh, so I just started feeling bad today. But as you may also notice, we are using a new layout, and I have also set up a green screen. So this green screen still needs a few tweaks, but for the mo most part I'm uh, pretty happy with the results so far. Uh, a few things also, a few other things also to cover before we start today's uh, Upload is uh, the regional um, season is pretty much underway here currently in Australia. So we had Brisbane regionals yesterday, and we have Sydney regionals next weekend. So uh, I'll be attending Sydney regionals and uh, hopefully try to attend uh, Mel both Melbourne regionals and Melbourne nationals. So yeah, uh, today we'll probably also I'll also make a second upload. So yeah, just bear that in mind, just to make up for the fact that I haven't uploaded for the past few days due to sickness. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's uh, find an opponent. Uh, so we're using uh, my Omega Ruby cartridge, and uh, yeah, just uh, using a team consisting of Zapdos, Weavile, Suicune, Metagross, Breloom, and Heatran. So yeah, uh, tomorrow's uh, uploads will definitely feature new teams because I've been <laughs> I've been saying it and meaning to do it for a while. But yes, we do need new, we do definitely need new teams to feature on the channel. So. Uh, the opponent's team consists of Gardevoir, Lucario, Blissey. Wow, you never see Blissey in BGC. Um, Azumarill, Bisharp, uh, and Heatran. Okay, interesting. Interesting set of pokes. Uh, I'm guessing the Maga would probably be Maga Gardevoir. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Maga Lucario is also a possibility, but I'm uh, I'm, I'm pretty confident you go for Maga Gardevoir. Uh, we're going to lead, in this case, with Reloom and Suicune. Yep, yeah, okay, Breloom and Suicune. In the back, we will bring... What will we bring? Back, we'll bring Metagross and... Hmm. You know, we're gonna change that. Okay. Weavile and Suicune, and we're going to bring. There's actually no need for fake out. Really. Okay. We're gonna bring Breloom and Suicune. Have Weavile in the back along with Metagross. We can't really run Metagross that well. In fact, let's not even bring Metagross. Let's bring Zapdos. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. Yep, okay. We'll bring Zapdos. I think it, I feel that's a much better um, call against this team. So, yeah. We're not going to bring a Mega to this match. So, uh, yep, Suicune Breloom. Opponent sends out. Uh, Gardevoir and Zumeral. Okay. So, what I'll do here is I'm going to. Hailwind. And protect. And if I can put something to sleep the following turn, I'll be very, very happy. Use an Aqua Jet onto the uh, uh, Bloom, and he goes for uh, Dazzling Gleam. Okay, that's interesting. But maybe this isn't the Mega. Maybe Lucario is his Mega. Okay. Uh, in this case, now what we're going to do is uh, we're definitely going to sc Skull the uh, Azumarill and put. Uh, guard while to sleep. Uh, as he gets a crit with uh, Aqua Jet, I'm not too drastically fast. Uh, yeah, so we get Scald off and. We don't burn, but. Oh no, we do burn. Okay, excellent. That's good. I'll take that. 
because I think I can KO uh, Zumeral here with the Bullet Seed. So we're just going to... Uh, what we're, we're going to scold the Gardevoir slot, just to be safe. And uh, Bullet Seed is uh, Zumeral. Okay, so the question is what he'll bring in now. I imagine he'd bring in... Bring in... Brings in Lucario, okay. We're going to Scold and Mac Punch. We're going to do Scold, Mac Punch. Okay, so it is the Mega Lucario. Yep, as it gets okoed by Mac Punch. As this goes to Dazzling Gleam. Okay, so we'll take out Breloom. Uh, but, yeah, Breloom is done. Uh, you know, it's already taken out two Pokemon, so... Not too fast, and we've got a... Uh, Severely weakened uh, and severely crippled Gardevoir here. Uh, as opponent brings in Bishop, okay, that's fine. Uh, what we will do is we will <clears throat> we'll go for Scold again, and we're going to fake out uh, fake out Bishop. What did I have in the back? In the back, I just got to check. Uh, in the back I had Zapdos. Okay, so yeah, we'll fake out, um, we'll fake out Bishop as well. So, yeah, the Garden Wads go straight for Dazzling Gleam, which, uh, should activate my Citrus Berry. And Weavile is, of course, running a Focus Sash. get a crit and that's I suppose a good thing for us okay so what we'll do now is we're just going to scold um, Bishop once again and we'll switch in uh, Zapdos because I think the only play he can really make is this sucker punch so he'll probably try and sucker punch Weavile to knock it out okay interesting he sucker punches uh, Suicune interesting as it reels it, it's Life Orb. Okay. So Dazzling Gleam will probably take out Suicune here. And wow, it gets a crit on the Zapdos. <clears throat> okay. But we should outspeed the Gardevoir here, unless it's Scarfed. Um... <clears throat> yeah, we're going to fake out... Um... Gardevoir. And... Not really the right play. Fake out, uh... <coughs> Bishop. And... T-Pult Gardevoir. Which should KO it. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Yeah, this goes to Dazzling Gleam again. And what we will do next turn is we're actually going to Roost. So, we do outspeed Bishop and we are going to Roost. So we will go make that play. So even though it was a bit of a riskier play, uh, we did have Roost, thankfully, to bring to uh, bring things into our favour. So 
this is where this is where risk proves to be very clutch. Um, so we get back up to full health, and yeah, that uh, we've uh, uh, sorry the bishop can't really do a lot. Uh, it'll get it'll get taken it'll take itself out with uh, life orb recoil. So this T bolt should finish it off as it does, and we uh, end the game on a one zero. So Roost, yeah, Roost was de definitely uh, the saving grace of that game. Uh, I definitely could have thrown that game, definitely. So I definitely could have made a better play to go for the... Uh, to target the Gardevoir instead. But we did come through thanks to... purely based on having Roost. Okay, so... Uh, yes, we will find the second, uh, second opponent. Uh, a okay, challenge. Change music up. Hmm. Okay. So my other my other cartridge is, I think is rated slightly is uh, rated near sixteen hundred. So I'll probably feature a higher class of opponents next upload. Uh, I'm probably going to try and keep them at li both cartridges at least sixteen hundred, even where possible, as we get a sixteen twenty seven rated player from. Uh, I don't know what I didn't actually catch that, but anyway, uh, that we see uh, <clears throat> their team consists of Cresselia, Rotom Heat, Sylveon, Kangaskhan, Gastron, and Lucario. So wow, I've seen Lucario twice today. Um, okay, Lucario knew better. <laughs> um, we want to definitely read really Breloom and Weavile and. The back will bring. Hmm. The back we could bring. Metagross or Suicune. Uh, we should bring Suicune for Tailwind, actually. Yeah, let's do that. We'll bring Suicune and. The Carrier does put. If it's Magula Carrier, it does outspeed Metagross. Uh. T -t 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 I'm almost tempted to bring Zapdos again. Hmm. Yeah, okay, we're gonna bring Zapdos again. I don't see a need for another um, uh, Metagross again. Yeah, let's confirm. It's interesting how many times, um,. I've bought Metagross and not bought Metagross to a lot of matches personally. So it may end up being a Mega that gets replaced. Uh, I like how he nicknamed his uh, Cresselia VGC 13. Yeah, there's only a recent edition actually that uh, you could. Uh, I think, yeah, the latest update allowed you to have nicknames in Battlespot, which is awesome. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and. Hmm. Yeah, I could do that. Okay, yeah, we're going to go ahead and spore Cresselia, and we're going to fake out Kangaskhan. You should have to be that Cresselia. Or I can um, get off things. As Oh, wow, it shows that it's... Uh, wow, it shows that it's not scrappy, but... Uh, oh, wow, safety goggles. Wow. Our opponent really did surprise us there. Ay -ay -ay. Wow. That's put us in a terrible position. Um, okay, so we're going to... Hmm. I think what I want to do here is Scold and... We have to try and burn Kangaskhan. <laughs> That's nuts. That was so crucial. Because uh, Kangaskhan here can just... Yeah, we're going to have to switch into Zapdos. Uh, the reason being for that is got this, uh, we're probably in KO range of Sucker Punch anyway, so... Without Kangaskhan even needing to Mega Evolve. It's a very smart move, actually. 
Very smart play to have Kangaskhan with the ultimate ability. Your team uh, doesn't... Yeah, if, if you're comfortable sacrificing the Scrappy, it can definitely be a big benefit to you. As I guess Redon gets brought in, but unfortunately, yeah, that's, he outplayed me again. So he'll get a Storm Drain boost. Wow. We're being outplayed left, right, and center. Um, he'll go for plus one double edge, which just should just destroy a Suicune. Wow. <laughs> we are definitely screwed. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're going to go for the... Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go for Snarl. And... Yeah, there's pretty much nothing else I can do besides... Uh, T-Bolt. <laughs> but he could just attack uh, Zapdos next turn quite easily. As he uh, lets uh, Suicune live. Interesting. Should have gone for Tailwind, if anything. But oh, Snarl does knock out the Kangaskhan, thankfully. And we get uh, the Gastronom back down to normal special attack. It's so easy to take out Zapdos here. Ay -ay -ay, next level plays. <laughs> <laughs> and he shows his last Pokemon is Rotom Heat. Okay. Yeah, so pretty much my opponent has this game. expect him to and <clears throat> yeah because it's not we can't even scold the road of heat so uh <clears throat> gas run out in the field as we actually learned to live at one hp uh so i'm just going to go ahead and forfeit this match because there's no point in playing it we are screwed <laughs> So, wow, it's definitely surprising. Um, definitely surprising to see Kangaskhan there with the, uh, <clears throat> you know, running its different ability. Uh, so it doesn't get flinched. Yeah, wow. <laughs> and Cresselio's safety goggles. I've, I don't even think I saw that when I played BGC 13 a while ago. So interesting. But uh, yeah, this will conclude uh, upload one of today. And uh, remember, I'm doing two uploads today because of uh, to make up for the fact that I missed out on uploads over the past few days. Uh, but again, thank you for watching. I hope you like the new layout. Uh, and I'll see you in the next upload. Take care.